I'm going to pick up uh, a little bit on, on Bonnie's theme about where you come from. Uh, I think I was obviously destined to be a humanist, you know, because the, that question children ask their parents, mummy, where do I come from? When I asked it, I, I wasn't ever interested in the biological answer, it seems. I was interested in the cultural answer. Um, and I remember as a kid digging around in the house for things that sort of gave you clues. And I found this. Uh, I had no idea what it was. Uh, and I, I went to my father since I saw his initials were on the top of it, DD. And I said, what's this? Figuring it was something, you know, he, he did serve in, in the Second World War. So we're talking here about 1962, by the way, that we're having this conversation. And uh, uh, he said, I haven't the foggiest idea what this thing is. It was never mine. Uh, if so, if the, the, the initials are the same as mine, it's not me. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. But what is this thing? So this began a long period in which I carried this thing around. I played with it as a kid, you know. Uh, eventually, we came to have horses in our family after my own kids were older. And I realized that it, it's something that attaches to a saddle, right? And what it is, is a cup and a very elegant bottle. Um, you could actually look at the hallmarks on this cup and you can tell where it was made. So it's made in Birmingham and it's made in about 1870, 1880. So this is interesting. So you can picture this, all this playing out against the background of South Africa. So if this discussion began in 1962-ish, um, uh, we're talking here about the darkest days of apartheid up into the 70s when I was a, a student at university. Um, and all the while, I became uh, active in student politics and, and uh, eager to, uh, to do my piece uh, in the political cause against apartheid. Uh, I, I always wondered about the significance of this thing, and I began doing research into it. So I discovered that this is, in fact, the property of my great-grandfather, who not only uh, uh, saw action in the Boer War, but ran a prison for the British in, uh, in uh, the hinterland of South Africa in the late 19th century, where presumably he played his own role in building up the system that I was in my, in my early 20s concerned to take down. And as I've gone on, I've looked into this, I've learned more about him. I mean, there are other anomalies in the house. There's a little medal certifying that he was the greatest cricketer in the Peter Maritzburg area in the 1880s. And I became aware through all of this, of course, something about one's background and one's impl implicatedness in history. Uh, and, you know, I mean, in one sense, I'm attached to all this represents, but I also find myself diametrically on the other side of what this represents in terms of colonial history. Uh, and I suppose the lesson for me that, that hinges on this object, which is why I carry it around, no one not all the time, of course, but I've carried it uh, from place to place with me wherever I've moved, <coughs> is that it betokens one's enmeshedness in history and the contradictions which define us. And I think, you know, when I think about what matters in life, decisions you make, success you aim to achieve, uh, the message is about the complicatedness of that, that it's always a balancing act, uh, and that you uh, you have to be, I think, clear-sighted in your recognition of uh, where you come from. Thank you.